Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use the call optimizer. We have a phasic full bridge converter where we need to design the transformer. In this case, we have an output power of 500 watts and we want to use the call optimizer. The first thing we need to define is what is our core loss target and how to do that. We can basically look at this approach. We need to know the efficiency of our system and then we can know how much losses we can, learn, we can lose in our converter. As a rule of thumb, we can take that one fifth or one sixth of this is for the transformer, which means that I can lose around four or 4.2 watts in the transformer. And ideally, magnetic components should have half of the losses in the windings and half of the losses in the core. So this means that out of these 4.2 watts, I can consider two watts for the core. Now I can put this value here, two watts, and I can select a family shape like the PQ, and I can select a material like the 3C95. Now, if I go here and I plot the cores, what I get is in the y-axis, what is the volume of the core, and in the x-axis, how many turns do I need with that particular core to get those losses? So for instance, with the PQ50 and 20 turns, I am getting 1.98 baht, I am getting 95.7 millitesla in the core, and this is the power density of the transformer. Considering not the volume of the core, but the complete dimensions of the component. So if we go to the right side, these are the cores with highest power density, like 32 kilowatts per liter. And if we go to the left side, we have bigger cores with lower power density. And we should aim to look for somewhere in the middle or somewhere close to 10, 50 kilowatts per liter, depending on the cooling system that you have. We can compare different cores. Uh, so we can compare different families here, uh, what happens with the ATD or what happens with a core with any core and also different materials. But let's say in my case, I want to go for the PQ3535. So now I can go to the second plot, which in here I can test different operating conditions and compare also different shapes. So if I came here and I take the PQ3535 with material 3C95, what I get is the evolution of the losses, core losses versus the number of turns. So if I increase the turns, obviously I reduce the flux and therefore I reduce the core losses and the other way around. If I reduce the number of turns, then I increase the magnetic flux in my core and I increase the core losses. I can also check what happens with different operating conditions. So if I go to the waveform tab and now I increase the output battery voltage to 60 volts, this means I will have more voltage across my transformer. And now if I go back here and I plot it again, I can see how for a different operating condition, my losses has increased to 3.25 watts. And we can do this with any input parameter. We can change the frequency, the inductance, the temperature, any parameter here, and then check the results here. But we can also uh, check or compare with different cores and with different materials. Like if I take the 3C98 and I plot it now, what we will see is that the losses in principle are uh, bigger than with 3C95. But this is tricky because this material, for instance, is intended to be used with a higher ambient temperature. So now if I go back here and I put 100 degrees, for instance, what I will see is that the losses have decreased considerably. Um, therefore, here we can do a lot of comparison, a lot of analysis, and at the end, take a decision on which score and which number of terms do I want to continue with my design. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to go back to the original ambient temperature and I'm going to continue my design just with the first graph. So I'm going to take 25 turns, PQ3535, 12.5 kilowatts per liter, and I'm going to apply and I'm going to continue with my design. I hope you enjoy it.